Welcome back, Random TV Reviews, your girl Annette. And it's your boy, Stanley. We coming in here all late like we write. <laughs> but listen, we had a fabulous weekend. It's yeah, been a we weekend did. of celebration, partying. My grandma turned 85. Yeah. So you know we had this we had to do that thing right. Yeah. Hopefully you all had a great Labor Day holiday as well. Exactly. Hopefully didn't nobody have to go see the judge this morning. Post on out or whatever. But we're gonna get right into Power Book. It's episode seven. It is Stay, Stay in your Lane. Your lane. We're gonna go ahead and get into it. Since we late, we, we just gonna cut all the fluff out. Let's go. Look, I you know, I'm gonna go ahead and humble myself that y'all was right about uh Scrappy. Uh he is alive. Uh he ain't quite doing well, but he <laughs> is doing well. What he missing an because, eye and a kidney? Yep, from Rock said he missing an eye and a kidney. Kanan was like but he took his eye and his kitten though, Ma. He was like, Scrappy is made for this. He know the game. The streets to build him. He a soldier. So I was like, what? So Scrappy basically saying, this ain't nothing. Like, this can't wait. Nothing. 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 <laughs> this means nothing. But I am glad that Scrap is still alive because I definitely like his character. I do too. Yeah, so I'm glad they didn't write him off. So, yeah, y'all was right. Y'all was right. So we saw an episode where Rock was just coming from the hospital, but we saw that she was talking to Lou out in the truck about basically going back and hitting Neek's guy for what they did to Scrap. So <laughs> we saw Lou stalking the dude. I think the dude was name is Laurel. I, I guess his name was, I think it's Laurel, but it don't even matter. It don't matter. We know. So Lou was stalking him, and him, him and his girl was walking back to the apartment. So Lou come in there, and they getting busy. You know, she getting that head. And I was like, that. Lou got a clear shot. Clear shot. This is going to be easy. Shoot, leave. Nah. He shoot. Oh, I was like, Lou, you had a clear shot, man. How did, you don't how, even deserve that right, gun. How in the heck did you, you miss? How do you disrespect a gun like that? Right. But old boy, <laughs> when he got out that house, boy, that joker, that joker was hauling a down the street, butterball naked, boy. Yeah, didn't he look like Forrest Gump? He, he was so he was getting it, boy. <laughs> <laughs> so this was Lou's excuse when he was confronted by Rock. He talking about it was the tech knot. Come on. When she said you shot it, you should have you should have used a better gun. <laughs> <laughs> I'm male. BB and, gun or and, then, and then Marvin, you know, he he got to put his two cents in there. If you want to try to be a, a, a broke down with Russell Simmons or something like that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> maybe, you so maybe you could have missed somebody. a shot. But yeah, man, I was like, but most time in movies, to be honest, they'll it, do that. it's always like that in movies. But Except it, for Tommy. Yeah, Tom. yeah. I still yeah. ain't going to forgive him for what he did. Carry in there with that guy doing gun on Proctor, like that big A gun like that on Proctor. Still not gonna forget. Yeah, but we even though Tommy my my dude. Uh 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 uh. So Kanan decides that he wants to surprise Rock because there was uh I guess they set up a dinner at this fancy uh, restaurant um with Davina also was there and uh Snitch. Yeah. <laughs> so Kanan thought that by inviting Symphony that his mom would be surprised. I'm like, well, you don't know. Surprised. She was surprised, but you know your mama by now that she ain't, she ain't, she don't roll like that. You mm -hmm. just can't just throw it up on her like that. And make her fold like that. Mm -hmm. Right. So, of course, soon as she saw Symphony, she got up and hauled tail. So, he ran behind her, and y'all saw it. He basically sweet-talked her way back into his life. Well, Sweet talked his way back into her life, and y'all said y'all was like, Symphony ain't going nowhere. They gonna get back together, and y'all was right. Now y'all right about him being a cop dog. Yeah, that's another thing. So I, I, I don't know. I'm gonna sit back and wait to see if y'all right about that. But yeah, so they back. Matter of fact, they so excited being back. They pretty much bucked for the whole rest of the episode. That Rock was in her feelings so much that she asked him. That she, uh, do you yeah. want to have a baby? I was like, well, darn. She said, I want to get out of the game, you yeah. know, but I said, wait a minute. You know your son about to graduate in three years. <laughs> you trying to really start over again? Yeah, so I'm like, you talking babies. So that being you, you kind of, you kind of, yeah, you a little bit in love there. You talking babies because, because yeah. at first he was thought, thought he, she was just acting in general. And he was like, oh, maybe. Because she was like, with you, me. Yeah. She, she was like, you will be a good dad by the way you treat my son. And sorry for the way, you know, I talked to you and I came at you about that. 
and and can't and trust you. So I'm like, huh, rock don't get soft on us now. Hmm. Don't get soft on us That's now. That's what stuff happen when you get soft. Uh huh. Right? See, love make you do some strange stuff. Hello. Huh? Like wanting babies. We ain't never got that strange. <laughs> <laughs> we ain't never got that strange. So they end up going back into the dinner, having a nice dinner. It was nice. I I, I did appreciate that. That was good. So when it was going home, uh, Davina and Davina and uh, Kanan was at her house, mm. and she was like, "I meant to tell you something. Mm. I heard famous song, and from the lyrics, it sounded like he was there." <laughs> I said, "Really, really? Yeah." We but we had that feeling that, that was yeah. gonna happen, though. Yeah. We had a feeling that was gonna happen. So he was like, nah, you know, you know, you know famous. He he always talking skit. You know, he always he, he you know, these rappers, about they say they, they say whatever, about. whatever. They don't know what they be talking about. They don't be living what they talking about. But Davida was like, it was a little bit It too was very specific. specific. Yeah, you know, we say uh four quarters and, and it was a lot. Yeah, a lot. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, I don't know how he gonna wig his way out of that one because even though he tried to BS her out of it, you, you can still you tell, tell that, that she was like, mm -mm. yeah, because somebody did it, and it's either you or him. Yeah, so the babysitter and what kind of sealed the deal on that? The babysitter came like, you need to come and collect this. I was like, collect this. This is a baby. <laughs> like whatever. But uh, he was trying to go up and try to help her, help her put the baby to sleep. She was like, no, nah, I got this. So we know right then that she got. I think she got a feeling that Kane and no more. Which we already know he know more. Yeah. But I don't know. What you think? Oh, she definitely knows something. And then she gonna take that back to Neat. Hmm. Well, we see that old Uncle Marvin that went through with Kane's plan of setting up shop up there at, at the uh at the, at the corner gas station. at the gas station and how they got it set up. Y'all saw that the person pulled up on the corner, hand him the money. Give them a candy bar out of a fundraiser box. Then they ride over to the gas station and give them the candy bar, and they get the drugs. It it looks like a nice plan, it but it still but it still looks suspect. It's, yeah, because who is out there that late selling candy, candy bars? Box. And you a grown a man, right? And you dressed up in your thug outfits and boots and all that stuff. But that's how I, we always get caught. Like so, how the police not gonna know you out there? Running a scam, man. Why don't you just dress? No, I'm not gonna say this. That's offensive. I was gonna say why you don't dress up like the Muslims. They don't expect them to be doing that skit. <laughs> well, at least dress is something that you don't look suspect, man. While you out there on the corner. I'm gonna dress like. But that. other than that, a good plan. But yeah. But into that, we saw Kane and went over to the house where they do all the cooking at and ran up on these two dudes. Oh. I, I don't remember their name, but they was like, you know, yeah, uh, the. That you know, the thing working out there on at the gas station is is doing good. You know the the crackers is is getting the crack. That's why they call them that. And I was like, okay. Yeah. <laughs> and we was they was like, we got this new stuff that came in called Lucinda. We say Lucinda, Lucinda, Lucinda Williams. Yeah, we've been cutting it with this. Everybody in the streets want us to coat they crack with this. Well, Kanan said, well, let, well, let's get the cooking then. They was like, nah. This ain't what you. Nah, uh, Marvin ain't give us a go. So. Nah, you ain't cooking. He was like, and then, no, of course, Kanan. Hey, you know that idea of this whole thing running up there to gas? All that was my idea. So if Uncle Marvin is cool, I'm cool. And they let that food cook. I said, wow. <laughs> and even they said, they said, you was a little little heavy-handed with the Lucinda man. Mm -hmm. And he was like, you know I know what I'm doing. I was like, you don't cooked once. One time, Rock showed you. One time that we saw. That we saw. Yeah. And now all of a sudden you you just chef boy all crack. But that just like us though. So, somebody show you something one time. You an expert. Now you an expert that you know everything. So they decide, okay, he cooked up this new batch. Let's do a test <laughs> run. Wow. But we ain't doing up there at the gas station now because we don't need no white folk up there messed up. So we're gonna do we're gonna that do this in the hood. Fucked up though. Yeah. So we're gonna do it in the hood. So they sold it to the local crack kids. They ain't sold it. They gave well, it. Well, gave it to the local crack kids and. They went around there. They was in the little in their little crack house, and they took a hit of that, and them jokers dropped like dominoes, man. I mean, like I mean, off they died. Yeah, boom. I was like, what kind of skit is that? I was like, I ain't never heard nobody drop a, like, drop a dead like that off of crack cocaine. I was like, is it fentanyl lace? That's what I was thinking the entire time. But they, you know, they called it something else. But is that the version of fentanyl from back in that day? 
Hmm. I don't know. That was that was crazy. At first, I didn't know if they were dead or not. I was like, maybe they just. I really was like, got, yeah, they like, like super high, like spaced out, out and passed out. Yeah, like no, like like Mr. Child is, Hangover. He said, like, you know, your heart stopped. <laughs> then you come back. Then restart again. <laughs> you know, but you know. But they didn't come back. They didn't come back at all. So when Uncle Marvin got a word of this, he came to uh, to the house and picked up Kanan and, and basically took off in the car with his feet still hanging out the door. Yeah. <laughs> I said, oh, you know you're in trouble now. Took him straight to the crack house and he was like, you see all this right here? This is basically what you did. Well, not basically, what you did or what you cooked up. And Kanan was like, we got to get all this stuff off the street. We got we to gotta tell Ma. He was like, oh, no. <laughs> We ain't never gonna tell her this. She can't never know because this. it's gonna be two more bodies on the street. It's gonna be me and it's gonna be you. <laughs> I said, "Well, but be you, but not yeah, that's why Grace said I kind of don't believe it will be Kane. I believe it will be Marvin first because I thought that he was doing this with them. I thought it was all the plan of the family. You know, since they run the short on product because they don't have a connect. I thought he took Kane's idea, made it his own, and be like, "Okay, I'm I'm doing this over here." But you remember when uh, when they confronted Lou, uh, they brought up the fact that, uh, well, Lou brought up the fact that Unique is running up at the gas station, and first thing Uncle Marvin said, "I don't know nothing about that." I don't know nothing about that. <laughs> I said, oh, so you ain't so gonna tell your brother that's you? Yeah, so you up there doing that behind her back? So I, I don't know, man. So I. I so he said that they were gonna because of all these dead crackheads that they was gonna he said they was gonna burn all the rest of the blue blue caps of the the things and they were shutting down the gas station. But I don't know how I don't long that. I don't know how long that's gonna be shut down for. So uh, we see we got Juke this week <laughs> is getting ready to go to a ball with Nicole, and uh, she was like, you know what what can what can I wear, you know. And Nicole was like, well, whatever you want. She said, well, I'm going to wear a white hood and some Tim's. You know, back in the day, boy, you want to wear Tim's everywhere. everywhere. To the dance, to church, Graduation. to court. Yep, I got to have a pair. <laughs> I got to have a pair of Tim's on. But I do like the fact that she that she accepts Juke for who she is. Yeah. And especially, we saw the ball was like, yeah, she really would have been eyeballed down crazy. Yeah, but did you see the dresses ball. that she was trying to try on? Yeah. Though? I said, Juke, that ain't, uh-uh. Nah, that ain't you. Not at all. Nah, that ain't you. So, we saw that she had needed, a, uh, Juke had needed a place to get dressed at, so she rolled up on Kanan coming home and was uh, like, I need a place to basically get dressed. Uh, can, can you help me out? He was like, well, okay. Here's the key. Here's the key. And by that time, Detective Howard had rolled up, whoop, whoop, in the police car. So sorry for the sound effects. But. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, you see how I look like yeah. I'm tired too. So, Kanan, when he was walking down the street with his thing, because he thought he was a man at that time, because he didn't realize that he killed all these crackheads yet. And he was in money, money, money. So he had to end up giving jukebox that because the just in case. That. So, Detective Howe come over there and said, Hey, Kanan, I'm just coming to check up on you. Kanan, you know, man, you ain't got to check up on me, man. And um, Detective House said, hey, have have your mama mentioned anything about me? It's like, no, nah. No. Huh. She don't want you in no picture. So he was like, ask your mom about me. You're going to be surprised at what you're going to find out. And I was like, here he go again. Can you stop. Come on. Let man. it happen organically. Right. Why are you going to... You... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm not going to say And not it. because you want his kidney. Right. <laughs> No, not kidney. Uh, bone, uh, bone marrow. Yeah, bone marrow. Yeah. I, I was thinking about um have and have not. Because he <laughs> needed a kidney. So, we seen Lou roll up at this diner. Because he come there to get himself a sandwich. But, Neat rolls up and pays for the sandwich. Because he wanted to talk to him to continue the conversation that they had. But, I had thought that they was coming back because they thought... They, I thought that they knew that he got that he, he took shot a shot at, at a shot at uh at Laurel, whatever his name is. But now he wanted to come to talk to to try to get Lou to flip. I was Sorry. like, you just told Lou last week that he is basically an upstanding citizen of the United <laughs> States, and now this week you trying to get him to flip on his mama, I mean on his sister. Yeah. Come on, come on. Lou said, "Can I eat my sandwich? I don't want it to get soggy." And I, I and I appreciate Lou because the thing about 
I like me some loot. Thing about fellas and ego, it is so easy to fall into flattery. So that's what that's what Nick was doing. He's flattering like you know somebody with your type of skills mm -hmm. that you know need to be appreciated and stuff like that. You know, mm -hmm. you know, playing to your ego because every man wants to be res respected and appreciated. Uh -huh. <laughs> so <laughs> I was like, don't fall for it, Nick. I mean, don't fall for it, uh, Lou. Yeah. <laughs> so you, Nick, Nick was like, so you know, what we gonna do? Cause it's all for stands just right now. Lou said there's only one problem <laughs> with this deal. <laughs> yeah. I don't work with B A niggas like, like you. <laughs> and him. <laughs> and <laughs> I said, Lou, wait a minute. You do realize that you you shot and missed. Yeah. And you got but, a lot of mouth right now. But but the way that Neek has stopped that joker from pulling out that gun, you <laughs> I said, it's like, Lord, dying. Say you used to armor bear at church, didn't you? Yeah. <laughs> he used to armor for Bishop T.D. Jake. Yeah, he lied. <laughs> so, we see Nicole oh, man. is getting ready for the ball. But, I, I, oh yeah, I forgot to mention that, that uh, Rock had caught Jukebox in the house getting dressed. And she was scared. And she was like, basically was cool, but... That's where she let her know that she was living a lesbian lifestyle. So she thought like, that Uncle Rock was going to give it to her. She was like, I'm not your Uncle Marvin. If you happy, I'm happy. You happy, I'm happy. So I was like, that, that. That's what's up. Yeah. But back to Nicole. So Nicole is at the house getting dressed. Well, she's already dressed. Skipping around. And her mom, them to set her up with this boy. <laughs> came in there. Mom came in there talking to her. Talking about some, you know, I don't condone intercourse but i understand at that age and, and yada yada and she was like mom lesbians can't get pregnant <laughs> <laughs> i do like nicole because nicole gives it to him yep she don't give two bucks about what her mama think mm -mm. so her mama end up leaving and the whole time me and me and the queen was like nicole please oh, don't light up that crack because y'all remember Last episode when you um when uh Crown had gave her a hit of that lace blunt, so it's already in her system. So I wonder if she was if she had been craving it because a lot of people, and maybe y'all can help us with this. I, I, I don't I don't always gonna, have had this question because people say you know basically when you get that first hit of crack you're gonna start chasing it and chasing it and chasing it, but if you don't know it's crack in there, how, how do you know, know what, what you're chasing? chasing? So, if y'all have the answer to that, y'all let it come. I've been, always wanted yeah, to know so that. I, like, people was like, yeah, if you somebody slip you a lace blunt, you know, then, you know, you start craving crack. How do you know oh, what you're craving crazy. if you didn't know what was in? Right. You know what I mean? So, oh. yeah. So, she pranced around the room. So, we just saw that, you know, basically her mama was stressing her out. was like, come on down. You've been disrespectful. We need to take pictures. She was like, uh, put her music in. So, she went to a draw. And pull back, and I guess it was a weed bag. But I was trying to figure out how did she have a weed bag when and a weed pipe? Yeah, when last week you were a novice. You were a novice to it, unless she was bullskitting. But she had no more. But anyway, she didn't have no more weed, and she thought about the crack. And I was like, now take it no. back a little bit further. She got the crack because her and Juke was in a park exchanging cards. That's right, and. When Juke had walked away to go get Nicole a pretzel, Nicole went to put her card in Jukebox's bag, and she found the crack. Yes. And she pulled the crack out and took the crack with her. So Juke has no idea that the one, the crack that she took from Canaan to save him from the cop yep. is even missing out of her bag. Right. And I'm sitting here like, oh, my God. So she hit the, she hit it. And at first, I was like, oh, she, she gonna get she, away. She like she was, you know, in, in euphoria, heaven, like she was doing good. She was high as hell. And I was like, well, maybe she got the got the correct batch. Maybe she didn't get the one that came that came and mentioned. She didn't get the full dose. And then the music started going backwards. Roo, 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 roo. Boom. <laughs> now I'm not gonna say she dead because I said <laughs> <laughs> I said that. Scrap was dead last week, and y'all told me he won't be. So y'all was like, like, he blinked. I said, y'all looking at that dead, dead um, bloody body. That so body. I'm gonna say at this moment she's non-responsive. Yeah, she. Just yeah, eyes wide open. Yeah, and I'm like, hopefully her mom and daddy could get us some help, cause they did hear her hit the floor. Yeah. So I'm like, 
if she is dead and if she uh, has to go to the hospital and they find that in her system, is Juke gonna gonna basically put two and two together? Yeah. When she find when she finds like, that she is missing yeah, the vow. The vow is she gonna put two and she two together two in the cold. But you still got so you still got a dilemma because for number one, she stole from Juke. Yeah. When you supposed to be y'all supposed to be so loving, you stole from her. And now <laughs> I, and I wonder, did she just take it from Juke as a way of like, let me get this away from my girl because I don't want no, her. No, 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 no. She <laughs> took that to smoke it. I don't know. She took it to smoke it. She took it to know. smoke it. That's why she, she took it to smoke it. She's oh. I like to think the best of people. I know. Sometimes. I know. <laughs> but she stole. What y'all think in the comments? Didn't she steal oh from God. Juke? And it cost her her life. So at the end of the episode, we saw Juke at the ball. Waiting on her, mm. excited, and of course she don't know that Nicole is unresponsive <laughs> and she just can't attend the ball at this time. But then it's fifth over that Rock and Kamey was on the couch and they was talking and he asked her <laughs> about Detective Howard and he was she was like, Don't you ever listen to them, they manipulative, they sneaky. The Evelyn, they don't, ain't nothing good about them. <laughs> I'm like, I know what you're trying to do. But don't be just But don't let the, the streets tell Kanan that, that Detective Howard is dead. When when you, or Detective Howard. Yeah, or Detective Howard because, you know, y'all supposed to be having this honesty thing going on. You ain't supposed to be hiding nothing, even though both of y'all be still hiding stuff from each other. But... Yeah, man, I, I think this was a was a pretty good episode. I, yeah. I wasn't expecting for Nicole to be unresponsive. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! I'm not gonna say but that. I will say, Riggs and Kane. At first, I liked the slower pace of it all, but now I just feel like it's too slow. Like, yeah, it's going. Come on, let's come. get to something. Yeah. So yeah. yeah, yeah. So I don't know, Kane. You can't cook right now, bro. So we're gonna Kane have... can't do nothing right. Now. <laughs> yeah. like, every time he does something, so... it's a whole train wreck. <laughs> Of recalibration to try to fix the skit that you do. So yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. But Mama gonna fix it. That's what Mamas do for the and boys. Do y'all think? Uh, I think his name was Joaquin. That she was talking to him at the fight. Rock was talking to him at the fight about being a new connect. Do y'all think that's gonna go through? He said he wanna talk later. Talk numbers later. So we'll see. But straight from the VA. The dirty, dirty south. Two up. Two down. Two down. Hello!